Action. Hello, everybody. This is Cooking with Coach D. So today I have some special guests. I have. This is my son. He think he cool. <laughs> this is Lily. Lily, and this is Shania. Shania, and we have a cameraman in the back. <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a little dessert so i seen something on facebook and i was like you know what i'm going to do that and you and i love to cook and i'm a baker so usually a baker has just about everything that they need in their kitchen and they really don't have to go out to get anything stop lily so today we're going to do dessert jars so i had some fresh um, strawberries in the refrigerator. I had some fresh pineapple. I had some pound cake that I made a couple of days ago and I do not like to throw my pound cake out. The last time I had some leftover pound cake, I made a pound cake bread pudding with um, a homemade caramel sauce and it was amazing. I have to do that for you guys another time. But today we're gonna do some dessert jars with some pound cake. We're gonna have fresh strawberry glaze, fresh pineapple glaze, and we're gonna do our own chocolate sauce. And we're making homemade whipped cream. Woo! So, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to get started with making our sauce. Okay? We're going to make our strawberry sauce and our pineapple sauce. So, not yet, Lily. So, I have actually already made some pineapple and strawberry sauce, um, but I wanted to show you guys how to make it. So, we're going to head over and... Um, I have my helpers. They are going to help me. Okay. So, come on over, helpers. All right. Watch out, Britt, so Dad can come this way with the camera so that they can see the stove. Okay? I might have to stand over here. Okay? So, um, I'm going to turn my um, oven on about medium, medium heat. Okay? And actually, I'm going to do the pineapple and the strawberry at the same time. Um, let's see. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, Lily, are you going to help? Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the strawberries into the pan. Lily, um, can you help her and get the sugar? Thank you. And we're going to let Sh Lily put the sugar in. You're standing in her way. We're going to let Lily put the sugar in. And so we're going to let um, our twin... Okay, Shania, we're going to let her put some pineapple in this pan. Okay. So, um, this is, let's see, that's, oh, no, 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 not all of it, not all of it. Oh. Yep, not all of it. Um, that's, that's good. That's that pineapple. Yep. So, that's probably about two cups of pineapple, and this is probably about two cups of strawberries, okay? And so, they're both on medium heat. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the sugar in. Can you hand me the one Brown cup? Sugar? The cup. That right there yep this and so we're gonna let lily put the sugar in so we're gonna take about um thank you we're gonna take about a cup of sugar and pour it into the pan mm. sprinkle it all over it good okay and we're gonna do the same with the pineapple about you can do about a cup to three-fourths cup okay good all right now, what we're going to do with the pineapple that's going to be different is we're going to add brown sugar to the pineapple um, because we want the pineapple dessert jar. Let me do it, Mommy. Wait, wait, wait. Give, Brit, give Britton a chance. Come on over. So we want, the, we want the pineapple jar to taste almost kind of like a pineapple upside down cake kind of almost. Um, so we're going to add this brown sugar. So take your hand and put the brown sugar in there. No, not like this, like this. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, put it in there. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. Okay, <laughs> put all of it in there. Okay, good. All right, mm -hmm. and we have our, we have our, sprinkle it off in there. There you go. Yeah. Okay, now go around and wash your hands. All right, so here's the thing. When cooking, you can't be scared. You gotta just put your stuff in there. You cannot be scared when you're cooking. All right. So, what we're also going to do, you can either use orange juice or you can use water if you want to. But I like to use a little bit of fruit juice. This was just something I had in the refrigerator. This is a little peach juice. So, this is a half a cup. So, I'm going to add half of that in there in the strawberries. And I'm going to have just a little bit of it in the pineapples, okay? All right. And so, what's going to happen also is the, the fruit is 
going to make its own juice as well. And what you do is as it begins to cook, you let it start cooking. And as you can see, the pineapple one has really started cooking. Cameraman, can you come up a little closer? Do you see? Can you see into the... Okay. See this? And so it's going to begin to cook. And what you do with the pineapple, we have a fork because we are going to smash the pineapple a little bit. And it's going to create its own, of course, the natural juices. Okay. And we're going to smash those down um, a little bit. And we're gonna give the, um, the the strawberries time to really start to get a little warm, okay? Now, I will tell you guys, I did go ahead and I made another pound cake because I already know that the leftover pound cake I have is not gonna be enough because I know that I might have some guests that might wanna experience what we're making okay so we're just pressing this down in here so that when you get ready to put it on the inside of the jar that it's not um chunky but you want it to be soft okay all right so the strawberries are starting you see it's starting to simmer and what you do is you kind of smash your strawberries too Let's take your whatever it is that you're using smash your strawberries a little bit Okay, and so this is the same way that you make cranberry sauce. So during Thanksgiving, I love to make fresh cranberry sauce and you take the cranberries, rinse them and everything. You put them in the pan, you put sugar, you put a little orange juice, fresh squeezed orange juice in there and you begin to pop the um, cranberries. Yes, see it's cooking up, oh yes. You begin to pop the cranberries so that the juices from the inside come out and the sugar of the, the starch from the sugar, it helps to help thicken, okay? So, good. We got our pineapple is really, really going, okay? And, see it's going and we're continuing to smush this up a little bit, okay? Right? Smushing it up. Okay. Strawberries are starting to cook a little more now. Okay. Cool. While we're waiting, Britton, can you tell me about school? Are you almost finished with school? Yes, I got four more days until school. Four more over. days until look at the camera. I have four more days until school is over. Mm. All right. So I just tasted our pineapple solution and it tastes good we're going to turn this down okay oh our strawberries are starting to go a little more okay and so what you're going to do is you're going to let it cook you're going to let it simmer a little bit and then in order for it to thicken it has to cool but what we're going to do to also help it thicken is we are going to add a little cornstarch solution. So it's going to be cornstarch and water mixed. And we're going to add that so that it thickens up a little bit more, okay? And then we're going to put it into the refrigerator, okay? Go put it into the refrigerator and let it cool down. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this pineapple one off, okay? Camera, can you see that? See that brown sauce making with the brown sugar we got going on. Okay. And what we're going to do is we have a little cornstarch solution right here. We're not going to pour it all in there. My son and my husband are over here doing craziness. We're just going to add some in there just like that. And we're going to stir it up. Okay. And when it goes into the refrigerator, it is going to um, thicken up even more, okay? See? So the cornstarch does help with the thickening? Cornstarch help with thickening. Yes, you know, people use it in gravy as well. You can also use flour um, as well. I usually use more so flour in my, um, my gravies. Um, I might use cornstarch sometimes. 
we are um but i usually use cornstarch so i i mean i usually use flour so i'm gonna add some of this in my strawberry mixture as well oh yeah look at that and it's gonna and once we put it in the refrigerator it is going to thicken up even more okay and as you can see you'll see that we already have some that is thickening and so what you want to do before you make your dessert it doesn't matter if you're making strawberry shortcake dessert jars cheesecake whatever it is when you do this you want to do it in enough time that you give your um glaze time to um go in the refrigerator and thicken up and congeal um so you want to make sure that you do that um because you don't want it to be soupy okay but you want to make sure that you give time you need about an hour or so okay so we're gonna get ready look at that you can can you see how it's yeah. beginning yeah. to thicken a little bit it looks good I'm no we can't I'm not yet, yet. <laughs> okay. add a little bit more to the pineapple one because the pineapple has a lot more juice juice in there and you can add as much as you want you just have to know the consistency of what you're looking for all right so let's move on back over this way okay all right we're moving watch out so now we are going to add this pineapple solution our pineapple glaze right in here it does can yeah. I eat it now? No, you can't. Eat it now. <laughs> watch out, watch out. Beep, 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 beep. beep, beep. We just, watch out. We're just going to stick this back here. Okay? And we are going to make, we're going to get that, we're going to put that in the refrigerator. We'll clean our little mess up that we made. Okay? All right, we're going to get our strawberry one. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Uh uh, watch out. We're going to put this in here. Wow. Oh, that, no, that looks delicious. Okay? Ice. I can see ice in there. Good. Yummy, yum. And so, now we, we are going to get these put in the refrigerator. Hey, no can good. you put these in the refrigerator for me? Can I put this in the refrigerator? No, because I want you to drop it. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to make some chocolate sauce. <gasps> chocolate right here. Can I get the chocolate? Okay. Yes, so what we're going to do is right here, we have some chocolate chunks, um, some Belgian chocolate chunks. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put the chocolate directly into the pan. I'm going to boil some water, let some water boil, and the steam is going to hit the bottom of this, and it is going to melt our chocolate. I want to watch and, it melt. And you're going to see it melt. And what we're going to do is... You can, I like to add, I like to add a little bit of coconut oil to make sure that it's a smooth, nice consistency of a sauce, okay? So we're going to do that um, as it starts to, back up, as it starts to um, melt, okay? And I can see it already starting to melt just from the little bit, watch out this way, man, just from a little bit of the heat that is um, at the bottom of um, the paint already. It's starting to melt. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. You can wipe that off, right? Okay. All right, so I see that the chocolate, y'all see the chocolate starting to melt? Oh, yay! Yeah. Okay. That's how it melts. The chocolate is starting to melt. Or chocolate mm -hmm. diamond milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so good. Now, can you get the heavy whipping cream out of there for me? Mm -hmm. Be careful, Lil. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of coconut oil in here. camera can you see this we want the camera to be able to see how the chocolate has started to melt look at that see 
see it melting? Yeah, we see it melting. Okay. Whoa. Because I like to do it this way because if you do it in the pan, sometimes, not all the time, you run the risk of it burning in the pan um, and it just kind of sticking and scorching a little bit in the pan. But I like to do mine like this. And I know a lot of times if you see on the cooking channels, you'll see them doing it like this when they're making like a chocolate sauce. Um, see, look at that. Whoa. See Mommy, what we got? We can put that on birthday cake. You can put it on birthday cakes. Yeah. Can you make a cake? Well, we already made a cake. Okay. Like so there? we just want to make sure we're good to go. We're going to add a little bit more coconut oil in yep. there. All right. And that helps it stay loose. Okay. See? All right. Look at that. That's going to be amazing. Yep. All right. So we're going to turn the heat off. So what we're going to do is everybody, we're going to go over this way. Back over this way. And we want this chocolate sauce to stay pretty warm, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do, the first dessert that we are going to make is going to be our chocolate dessert. Is everybody good with that? Yes. Yeah. We're going to make our chocolate dessert first. Okay. Britt, come over here on this side, baby. All right. All right. So here we have our jars. Okay. Right here. Good. Here we have our jars, okay? So I have two kinds of pound cake. I have a regular pound cake, and then I have a pound cake that has pecans in it. Now, the pound cake that has pecans in it is the one that we are going to use to make our chocolate dessert, okay? All right. So can you and can you help can you guys help me put some of this in there? Well first let's do this. We're gonna put a little bit of our chocolate sauce. Can I put some of it in there? In the bottom of this jar. Can I put some of it in there, mommy? Hmm? Can I put some of it in there? We're going, you're going to. Okay. So we got a little chocolate sauce down in the bottom. Now let's put some of this pound cake in there. Okay? Yummy. Yum. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Good. Not yet. Not up to the top yet. Okay. Now we're gonna put some of our um can you get that whipped cream right there? Right there. It's right here. Can I take that? Some chocolate. Don't worry. We know you like chocolate, Lily. Mm. Okay, so we're putting some of our chocolate sauce in here. Put some this in here. Yes, let her help you. So this is homemade whipped cream that I've already made, but I'm going to show y'all how to make it. Okay, I so let's it. let's add some in here. Just add some in. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. We can't be too messy. You want to eat that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> let twin help you. Mm. Good. And what we're going to do real quick is we're going to press this down a little bit. Okay. Press that down a little bit. Now we need some more cake. Cake. We need some more cake. So Brittany's going to help us with the next one. Okay. You can't you can't be eating it, girl. Hold on. Okay. And this right. This time. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This time we're gonna put a little pecans in here. Okay. We're gonna put a layer of pecans in there. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So we got chocolate sauce in there. Now this time we're gonna add some more chocolate. Okay, we're going to add chocolate, a little more. That looks good, Mommy. It looks good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, then we're going to add a little bit more. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to put some whipped cream right there on top. That looks good. That looks like a smoothie. It looks like a smoothie. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to wipe that off. Okay? We're going to wipe it off. That looks good, Mommy. Okay? A little... Mommy, that looks good. For presentation. <laughs> for presentation. Okay? So, that's our first chocolate one. Not as pretty as we want it, but I know it's going to be good. Okay, yeah, hey, now we're going to do the strawberry and the pineapple. Yummy. All right, so Britt is going to help. Okay. Represent, son. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the pineapple one. I need you to put some of this. Yes, this pineapple has brown sugar and stuff in it. So put some of this in the bottom. You've already helped. Hold on. Now, let's put some cake in there. Got to spread it out. Hold on, hold on, okay. We don't want to put too much cake because we want some other stuff in there too. Okay, so we're going to put a little more pineapple in there. Okay, so we're going to press this down. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, twin, help us out. Let's put some, some whipped cream in there. Wait, Lily. That's okay. Wait, Lily. Okay. Good. And so then what we're going to do is... Hold on. We're going to press it down in there. Okay, then here, put some cake in there for me. Stop eating, no, because you're eating and you cannot double dip and eat and put your hands back in there. Stop it. Go wash your hands in the bathroom. Strawberry brick. Sometimes you like strawberry. Like oh, you like it this time? Okay, put a little like bit of whipped cream in this time. So, what if you want to try this with bananas? Oh, you can definitely. You can do. People do banana pudding ones. Mm. Banana pudding. I don't make a lot of banana pudding because my family don't eat banana pudding. Oh. <laughs> I'm the only one that eats banana pudding. Bananas are so good. Yes. So, uh, definitely, I would try this with bananas. Yes. So here we go. We got a little got strawberry in there. We're going to put a little bit of our sauce in there. Okay. So we got some whipped cream. That looks good, Mommy. That looks good. We're about to make some more whipped cream because we're going to show everybody how to make whipped cream, too. Mommy, I love whipped cream before. Okay. All right, let's put some more in here. Some more cake in there. Yeah. Oh, we need some more right there. All right. And then a little more strawberries. We're not tasting the strawberries right now. Okay. All right. And then we just top this with this little bit of whipped cream we got left. Okay. Yep, we can put a strawberry on top because we have some strawberries in the refrigerator. But first, we are going to show everybody how to make this whipped cream. Right here. Okay. So we're going to move all this out to the side. Okay. Yes. 
So, all right. What do we need in order to make our whipped cream? All right. All right, let me see. We need, now everybody's gonna get the help on this, okay? So we need a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, so we need a cup of heavy whipping cream. Wait, wait, Lily. Oh boy, that's a lot. Okay. Put it in here. All right, then we need two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, and we need about a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Now what color is going to be? I like a little more than a piece of them. Yeah. <laughs> that was not, that's more than a piece. Yes. So, hold on, Lily, wait. So, next we're going to come on up. So, everybody's going to get a chance. Wow. That was good, Mom. Mm -hmm. Can you stir it? So, we are making whipped cream. So we want to clean the jar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let everybody see which one they wanna taste. I'm gonna taste okay. chocolate, vanilla, and chocolate. Vanilla and chocolate. Yeah. So as you can see, it's beginning to thicken up. And strawberry. Okay. Now let's go. It's gonna take about five minutes. Maybe. I'm gonna count. Hmm? One, two. So in the meantime. Three, so everybody can make which one they want. Great, here. Take your time. Take your time. There you go. Keep your left hand.
right, here we go. We got whipped cream for you. Me too. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Look at that whipped cream. Whipped cream for me. Whipped cream for Lily. Lily. And whipped cream for Bree. Yay. Here you go. Okay, I think I'm going to have strawberry. You're going to taste it now. You're going to taste it. I'm going to use, I'll use this. Okay. Yep. All right, so I'm going to have strawberry. We all got to taste at the same time. Yeah. Mm. Okay? Not yet, Lil. Not yet, Lily. Mm. I ain't do yet. And can we have one for tonight after dinner? See, <laughs> y'all, he already think about tonight after dinner. Because he, he knows it's going to be good. <sighs> right. Already think about tonight after dinner. All right. <laughs> Son about to trip me up, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna All right, so here we go. Is everybody ready to taste? Yeah. Here we go. Let's taste it. Mmm. 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 Good. What you think? It's good. Awesome. Mmm. It's good. What you think, Brent? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Pineapple one's good. Let me taste some. Let me taste some. Pine Lil, you don't like pineapple like that. Let me taste some. Let me some pineapple. Mmm. some pineapple. Mm, pineapple is good. Let me some pineapple. Lil, you're not going to like it. I think you're not going to like it, and then you're going to taste the pineapple and like, yeah, and people going to think it's nasty. <laughs> Let's some strawberry. All right. Mm. All right. Some Thank y'all so much for watching. So, really, Britt? Come on back over. He worried about eating, y'all. So, <laughs> What we made for you today is homemade strawberry and pineapple um, sauce with fresh strawberries and fresh pineapple. And then we made our own chocolate sauce with chocolate chunks. And we also made our own whipped cream. So for the strawberry, you need about two cups of strawberries, about a cup of sugar, um, a little bit of water if you want, or a fruit juice, about maybe one third or one fourth cup. Let it cook. Um, you can put a little cornstarch in it to let it thicken up, put it in your refrigerator. The same goes for the pineapple as well. The strawberry, I mean the chocolate, all we did is put it um, on top of the pot in a bowl. Um, and that was probably about two cups of um, chocolate chunks. And I put a little coconut oil in it so that it would stay loose. And we cooked it, let it thin out. And what else did we have? We also had our whipped cream. A cup of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of sugar, a little vanilla, and just whip it until it's whipped up and ready to go. And so this was just something that I just did on a whim. I've actually never made these jars before. Wow. So of course I'm